In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can optimize a WooZone product using the Yoast SEO plugin. So after you've imported some products from Amazon using WooZone, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can go through uh, one by one, making changes and making that Yoast SEO light go green. So that means that you're all good for search engines. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here, hope you're all well. So this is a follow-up from a video I did just a few days ago where I was optimizing a blog post. This time we're gonna be optimizing a product and that product is one that I've imported using WooZone over on Boot Boutique, which is a site I set up in a previous video tutorial. I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't, you'll find a link to that video in the description. And while you're looking down there below this video, why not click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel? Would love to have you on board. Click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos, which does tend to be every single week. So before we get on the computer, let me just explain what we're gonna be doing. So when products come down from WooZone, they do have a description uh, from Amazon. And depending on your settings, that could have been spun, which means it's kind of been rewritten by a computer. Doesn't always turn out great. But the problem with this is that sometimes the descriptions on Amazon aren't very good. Sometimes they're not even there at all, so there's nothing for WooZone to bring down. And if you just bring in the Amazon descriptions straight into your site, it means that you've basically got the same content as Amazon. So that's not particularly useful when it comes to search engines because Google is probably gonna rank um, an Amazon page over yours if the two have the same content. So it's a good idea to go through your products and tidy them up, um, change the description, maybe make it a bit longer, rewrite it, add a few more words, a few more details, that kind of stuff. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Um, so I think that's about enough of my face. Let's get on the computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm on about. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is a affiliate website I set up ages ago. I'm sure you're well aware of it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the tutorial, the original tutorial that I made where I create this website, if you're interested. But anyway, I'm gonna be optimizing this product. Um, it's one of the boots on the site. It's the Fly London Mez, woman's boot. And this is how it came in um, with WooZone from Amazon. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of description, not a lot, and a little bit of description there. So yeah, it could do with a few more words and whatnot and just, just filling out that kind of thing. In the tabs across the top here, I've got the, oops, I've got the Amazon page here. We can see that actually on the Amazon page, there is more information than what's actually um, coming from WooZone, interestingly. So we can add that. I've also got a couple of other pages from other retailers with the product on just to get some ideas. This one's got some reviews and stuff, so I might be able to you know, borrow a few things from that. And these are all coming useful as we go through the, uh, the product optimizing it. And this is the original um, page. Well, not the original page, that's not the right word. This is the retailer site, I should say, or the manufacturer site even although it doesn't really have much information and I'm not actually sure if it's the same boot because this is called a Mez 2. So I don't know what use uh, this will be, but hey, I've got it open anyway. So let's start with the optimization. I'm gonna edit the product. Just click edit up the top here. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is add my keyword to Yoast SEO. By the way, you are gonna need the Yoast SEO plugin installed and activated in order to do this optimization. If you haven't already got it installed, then you can add it just by going to plugins and then go to add new, do a search for Yoast, and should be the first one that comes up, install it, activate it, and then you'll get this lovely little box um, on your products that you can work with. So I'm gonna um, put my focus keyword in, it's just gonna be the product name basically, which is Fly London Mez. And once we've done that, We'll then get uh, some recommendations and things appear down here. So let's go to the top. So the first thing is it says it doesn't appear in the uh, description, the first paragraph of um, the thing, which it kind of does because it's there. Let me just update and just check that it's kind of checking it all okay. Sometimes you have to save the product for it to work properly.
Okay, let's see what it says. I guess it's because this gallery is here. So I'll drop it down and put the uh, text above. So fly London. In fact, I can just copy this. Let's just copy this. Okay, women's fly London men's leather boots. So that's fixed that. We can put the gallery and the cross selling a bit further down. That's fine. So this first box is actually the description that appears towards the bottom of the page. And then down here, we've got um, the product short description which is what appears at the top. So I'm just gonna actually drag it up. I find it a bit easier when you're editing to have it all together. So let's put that there. There we go. So first of all, I'm gonna get some stuff in from Amazon. Let's see what we got. Now you're not gonna to need to do this on every product because some products are gonna come in fine. It's just, I think it's worthwhile going through your products when you get a bit of time and just checking that they're all as good as they possibly can. So I'm just gonna paste that in there. Um, so that goes into the uh, the main description. You can even add some um, bullet points to make it look a bit better. Let's just um, highlight this. And then click bullets. Ooh, hasn't quite done it properly, I'm just gonna have to do this. There we go. Now I want a little bit more description for the uh, the top, this bit here. So if I go over to this retailer, they've got a nice little bit of blurb which I can borrow and then rewrite. I'll, I'll leave those uh, points there, that's fine. So I'm gonna just change this, the Fly London Mez. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's good. So let me just borrow a few points from the reviews just to bulk it up again. So very comfy, great boots. Um, what else we got? Sturdy and comfortable, that seems to be the vibe I'm getting. Good looking, comfortable, sturdy. Stylish, which is kind of what they said there. <laughs> Women's fly liner men's boots are extremely comfortable. Good looking and hard wearing. I just want to add some more words just to fill it out a bit because I know that Yoshi is going to say there's not enough words. Uh, that's, I need to be able to spell that would help. Is that right? Nope, how do you spell extremely? I like that. There we go. God, my typing is pretty bad today. Okay. I'm gonna add a few product tags. It helps with product recommendations, possibly SEO as well. So I'm gonna add Fly London. I'm gonna add Fly London Mez. Mez uh, leather stylish like that. We've got these gallery images. Let me just have a look at these. What you want to do is make sure that the alt text is uh, relevant and you know fits the image, and that is a fly London Mez, which is again is my keyword. So I'm just going to add that to all these images. like that. And also the featured image, we can add it up. Oh, that's already done, perfect. So let's see what Yoshi is saying now. So no meta uh, description has been specified. So that's this bit here. So I think I'm gonna use this with a full stop in the end. Out of the I'm going to put women's here. Let's copy that. Pop that in here. 
Now if you need to change the title, you can do that as well, although mine is okay. Um, maybe you could do it a little longer. So Fly London, Mare's Leather. I'm gonna go for ladies for a change. In black, actually I think there's other colors available. Let me just check. Oh, yep. Let's change it, it's not just black. <laughs> in a range of colors and sizes. Then I'll add the site name at the end. Probably thinks it's a bit long now, but never mind. So the other problem is that there's not enough words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more text. Now I'm gonna do a quick edit, you don't have to watch me type it. I'm just gonna make up some stuff. I'm gonna borrow some inspiration from these reviews. I'm just gonna try and get the uh, the count up to 300 words. Um, so let's do a quick edit. So there we go, I'm all done. Um, here it is. I've added some more text. I've basically rewritten some stuff that I found over on Amazon. I found this and I rewrite rewrite it, rewrote it, so it reads a bit better and it's more unique. I don't want to just copy stuff straight from Amazon. Also found a bit of text on this site and on this site, was it this site? No, maybe not that one. Um, but yeah, I took some stuff from these reviews and, and basically yeah, whatever, I, I, I looked around the internet, found some more information about the boot and about the brand and rewrote it, repurposed it and here it is, it looks pretty nice. There's a short description there, there's a long description. So um, one thing you're gonna wanna check, and I, I've just had a quick look at the product, um, and my site needs a little change, is when you look at the um, products, and this is a uh, kingdom setting, what it's doing is it's taking the long description and it's just cutting it and putting that as a short description. That's not what I want it to do. I want, to use, I want it to use my short description, which is the one I specified in the second box. So to adjust that, we need to go into Customize, then if you come down to shop, um, this bit here where it says product details, general description, which I think it means is the short description. There you go, I'm gonna set it to short description. That should sort that out. So let's, let's have a look. There we go. So maybe they could be bullet points. That would look better, wouldn't it? But other than that, it's, it's looking much better than it was uh, before we started this process. And we've got a green light on Yoast SEO, so that's good. So yeah, this bit, I think, uh, this is the bit I wanted to use, so that's what that setting just adjusted. And let's make these nice bullets. And that's good. Okay, so yeah, there's one last thing you need to do. Basically every night WooZone um, does a synchronization with Amazon and what can happen is if you've got it set to synchronize descriptions, it will overwrite what you've done, which is obviously not good. So I'm into the WooZone config and then if I go into um, the synchronization bit, which is here, so synchronization log, and we've got these, um, tick boxes here. So yeah, you can update SKU, that's fine. Price is very important, you wanna make sure that gets updated. Um, probably the buy URL as well, I'd have thought. I'm gonna leave all those ticked. New variations, that sounds good. But what you don't want is description and title if you've made changes to them. Else, yeah, they will get overwritten every single day, which is bad. <laughs> so make sure you come in here and check those settings. But I think that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I hope that's helpful. So you need to go through your products one by one, make them as good as they possibly can be, add some more text, use Yoast SEO, and you'll find that your search engine rankings should improve. Well, I hope you found that useful and you're clear now in terms of what you need to do when it comes to optimizing your WooZone products. If you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them below. I'll try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. As I said before, keep banging on about it. If you're not already subscribed, please do click the little eagle, click the bell to be notified when I upload. Here's another video from the past, chosen specially for you. And that's my other channel. It's all about business and life and all that kind of stuff. Go check it out. Until next time, bye for now.